Hey guys, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. Uh, this is a let's make a card video. Um, or a let's make a project video, <laughs> rather. Um, but I actually wanted to show you the little um, alterations I made to the um, to the uh, lantern uh, we made together. And I uh, wanted to show you how fun uh, it it turned out. Uh, what I did was I ended up adding some anagriff and bows to the top of it and uh, some Christmas ornaments on the opposite three sides and thought that added just a nice little touch. But I wanted to show you what it looked like, you know, when it sits and it's glowing on a table or a bookshelf or something. And I really think it looks lovely. I think that anagriff and vellum is so beautiful. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed making this. I want to make another one. John actually wants me to make one and uh, decorate the other three sides even at the bottom uh, with a few small things uh, so that way uh, we can use it as a, a table centerpiece a centerpiece on the table um, and uh, thought it would be really fun I might need it to be well we have a small table in our kitchen so and that's where he wants to he thought it would be fun to display it but um, I thought you'd get a kick out of it so my stickles turned out it looks more like frost like snow um, on here, which means I'm probably gonna have to add just a tiny bit elsewhere to make it all blend in, but um, this is what we did to the sides. Added the bow at the top and then the little, um, the bobble out of the sticker collection. Um, there's a bobbles and branches sticker collection that those, these came from and I thought, I thought that actually added a nice little touch to it and I don't think actually it really needs anything else around the bottom in all reality if, if I was going to, um, use it on a table or something like that. I think it actually looks super cute. And uh, anyways, I think it turned out super fun. <laughs> the video on this, you, you probably want to fast forward. <laughs> it's a little bit, yeah, <laughs> all over the map. <laughs> but it was fun. We made this together and uh, yeah, I thought it came out pretty cute. But I just wanted to show you all the other little things uh, we did to it uh, after the video turned off. You know, you, you, honestly, you're, you're trying to craft and not make everything like two hours long. And so you kind of do the quick, hurried, quick and dirty version, so to speak. And then you end up thinking of like 10,000 other things you could have done or a better way to do something. And you're like, well, I already published a video. What do you do? Move on. <laughs> so, uh, so basically, uh, in that other video, I showed you this recipe card that I had made. Um, for a swap that I'm doing. And so I need to make a smaller version of this, uh, because this one is too big. Um, but I really like the feel of it. I like the style of it. And the dies that I use, these are primarily KS craft, uh, dies. Um, there's actually two, two sets in it. So, um, and so I put my apple crisp recipe on the back of, it and uh, so I just typed this up on my computer this is on regular copy paper and I put it on copy paper so that way you can like see the design through the paper it's almost kind of vellum-esque you know so to speak that you could so you can see the design and it wouldn't waste you know that paper that's back there you would have um an essence that it was there and uh, I thought that actually looked really really fun. So yeah, so we're going to recreate this, but in a small version. And uh, yeah, I thought this came out really cool. Um, so there's that. Let's leave that there for inspiration. Um, so the dies I'm using are the KS Craft, a uh, two large, I think these are tag dies. Um, and what I've done is I've used the smaller one. Um, and I've also used the uh, KS Craft electric mixing die. Um, set as well. It comes with a large one and a small one. So in the small set, what I've done is I've taken, um, I used all the pieces. So this, this one here, I actually left that in. You can take it off and then cut the two pieces out and then have that layer on top of it. But I actually left it in. Um, and I cut one strip out of gold this this piece out of gold and then the top and the bottom out of Anna Griffin matte red matte foil red um and then this piece here I cut out of gold as well and that's going to be uh the little button piece that goes at the bottom that's uh this piece here at the bottom um I cut yeah and then so then I cut the bowl 
I cut one frame out of um, foil, Anna Griffin matte foil red, red matte foil. And then I also cut one out of three millimeter foam uh, dimensional. It, this is a foam sheet that I got off of Amazon as well, but it's three millimeter. And I left the center in. Um, and this is so that way when I go to glue the frame down, it helps t it to keep its shape when I go to glue it down. So that way when I put the uh, frame piece, the decorative frame piece on the top of it with the acetate, it um, it will line up the best that way. Um, if, well, for me it does. And so then the background die, the one that's the shadow layer, I cut that out of just a plain... Uh, Michael's uh, cardstock in red and I cut that actually twice and the reason I did that is because this is pretty thin it's only about 65 pound uh, I want to double that up and make it really nice and sturdy um, uh, a really nice solid uh, shaker piece since it's going to be a shaker I want it to be nice and sturdy so that's what we did with those pieces uh, for the mixer and then for the tag portion so I really liked how the first one came out with the Anna Griffin Eleanor paper pad. Um, the top looks like a uh, wallpaper. I really like the fact that this looks like wallpaper because the stripes going down. Um, and then I like the Christmas element on the back with that pastel pink poinsettia paper. Um, and so I tried to recreate this um, with the poinsettia as well. And so I cut the base layer out in uh, some stiff spearmint green cardstock. This is Stamps of Life. It's about 100, 110 pound. I cut out of the Anna Griffin Vintage Christmas uh, cardstock. I cut out the red poinsettia, and this is what's going to go on the back. So it's going to layer up like that. And it's this die is symmetrical. Oh, so this is the smaller one out of uh, this pack here. And so this, I just used the small layering die, scalloped type layering die, and cut the spearmint panel out, cut the Anna Griffin Vintage Christmas Red Poinsettia pattern out, and then I had a couple scraps left of this red and green um, Anna Griffin cardstock in the, I think it's Hearth and Home, Holiday Hearth, uh, Holiday Hearth pattern cardstock. I just had a few small pieces left, um, which is part of the reason I cut a green out for the base. So that way, um, so I just lined it up with the stripes down the center of the scallop like that and uh, cut out what I could. Um, so, but this, this actually goes this way because I want the nice one on the top, the stitching, the nice stitching on the top. Especially because this isn't a full piece. Um, and I'm just going to layer this like this on the top like that. And I think that looks really cool. And I think it's still going to look like wallpaper. It gives it um, the same type of feel uh, as this one here. Just in the uh, Christmas colors uh, instead. I think it still looks like wallpaper. So this one, I think this is the thinner one. And then one was a little bit wider uh, than this one. And so you get a little bit more of a wallpaper a feel with the and then you get the little green speck of green on the sides and I still think it looks really nice and I think we'll really like that so I've got three uh I'm doing uh a loaded pocket swap and you can do two or four and I like to do the minimum amount so I can put the most time and effort into what it is I'm doing I have a very limited amount of time in my craft room so if I'm going to do something I really want to dedicate as much time especially if I'm giving it away I know I'm giving it away and I have a particular person or um, idea in mind uh, for it I really want to do my best work and that means you know contributing the most amount of time I can on it so that way if I want to revamp it or whatnot like see I made this prototype well, this one's too big. It doesn't fit. Well, I could try to like shave it off or whatever if, if I didn't have enough time and I made four. Well, I like to give one to VNA. So then, you know, I, I got to make five if I want to give her one as well. 
And so then you're scrambling for time because you have to do so, I have to do so many pieces. And this way I can have fun, keep this one for myself or, you know, send it to a friend and um, I can remake these and enjoy the entire process of remaking them and uh, re revamp the thing if I need to. So um, that that's why I'm only sending the two in. But anyhow, so let's go ahead and actually start. Oh, so then out of the poinsettia, perfect poinsettia, uh, Anna Griffin dimensional stickers, um, there was a three, there was a, there's a three poinsettia one like this and they're small. I tried to fussy cut some out of the scrap pieces that were left from the paper, but they're too big. So I cut these apart and I think they're going to be the perfect size to layer uh, on top of my little mixer there. So I've got, I cut those three apart and we're going to use those. Um, and then, oh, I was going to tell you too. So I made this, this shaker as well, baked with love. This is so cute. Um, but these little gingerbread, um, people on there came from this set right here. It's the lawn fawn, tiny gingerbread is what it's called. And there's tiny gingerbread dies that coordinate with it. It even cuts out the crumbs and that little guy right there. How cute, right? Look at him. He's having a bad day. So I'm going to bit him. And there's this little one that says, oh, snap. And then have a sweet Christmas. Isn't that cute? Oh, my heavens. This little guy's running away. Oh, I think these are darling. Uh, so I was actually, I thought I was hoping I could use uh, this one here. And I was going to have a couple of them floating around in there so I ended up I I colored a whole bunch of them and I, I wanted to have just like two or three you know like floating around in here but you can't I can't put it in this one this one's too small see how much smaller it is yeah so it would have been really cute and uh but that's okay you know that's okay um I can use these definitely on something else because they're like confetti size um, yeah, and they're just darling. So I wanted to let you know where those are from. And this, this that's been out for a while. I've had it for a while. I just like the, how the size of them. They're so cute. So let's see. Let's go ahead and actually put these together. Let's, we'll just do one of these together and then I'll do the other two off camera. And that way you don't have to endure the, all three, like repetitive process of all this. And so I'm just going to glue that, um, recipe base together so yeah so I typed the recipe up on my computer printed it out on copy paper uh, just kind of kept going down on the size until it was gonna fit this so it ended up I did it in Harrington font and then I did it in uh 14 uh is the point size on it for 14 is the point and um, it it came out really good I think it came out really nice so the only other thing I have to do is I have to cut the acetate for the little bowls but I have to glue these and so I wanted to show you how how that worked because they don't have a shadow layer for the top for that bowl you you have to glue it on the acetate and then cut around it but it's pretty sh it's a pretty easy design so it's not that it's actually not that big of a deal cuz i had to do it with the little baked bowl and then i had to do it with that one as well so no big deal and it's nice these are symmetrical dies uh so when you go to layer them up it they work really nice And so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to tape runner my recipe on the back so that way I can get it nice and flat. But how nice does that look, right? Doesn't that look cute? I think that's going to be lovely. So let's go ahead and put our little, oh, right here. So yeah, so I typed, I just typed these up. It's my little apple crisp recipe, rounded the corners on it, trimmed it down with my um, paper trimmer. And, uh, yeah, so since it's copy paper, I'm just, I'm not going to glue it because you'll see all the wrinkles for sure. I'm actually going to put tape runner on the back of it. I had to put the pin in. Oh, 
yeah, I got a few wrinkles on the back of that one. Uh, because I wasn't, I put it on afterwards. I wasn't even thinking about it being flat. And so I couldn't really press it down or make sure that it was flat on the back of it. So then it ended up with a couple of wrinkles. But you can't tell too much. And I think it still looks pretty cute. So I'm going to center this up as best I can. Making it look nice. Making sure I'm straight at the bottom. Yep. See, this way you can make sure it's nice and flat. See? And then look how good that looks. Isn't that great? Oh, I love it. I think that is so cool. Yeah, isn't that going to be just terrific? And this thing is... That is stout. I mean, we're solid. So it's very cool. All right, now let's go ahead and get... Uh, we don't need to do those. We'll do those off camera. So let's grab these. So we got two layers to make this really sturdy. So let's go ahead and put those together. I'm trying to think of what color I should use in here for... Um, Shaker bits. That one I did like it has like pink and white in it. But it's it's like a dark pink and white on a light pink background. So I don't know what to do on this one. I'm not sure. I was thinking about doing Christmas colors, you know, like a uh, green, red and white, but I wasn't sure if that would be a little too if it'd be too crazy, you know. I don't know. Guess we'll spill some in and see what it looks like, huh? That'll probably be all right, huh? And as much as I don't like to do glue on these, um, they won't stick down with, because they're so curved, they won't stick down with um, tape. They'll, like, try to pry themselves off. So we'll just line this up down here. Oh, come on now. There we go. So we need a block. Oh, shoot. Let me uh, grab a block. While that's holding it down. I'll do that. This one's a bit heavier. And then while that is doing that, we'll put the glue on the back of this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about this new swap uh, with VNA. It's a uh, VNA creates. She's doing. She's hosting the home for the holidays loaded pocket swap, and um, her swaps are just so darn fun. I'm finishing up her beaded one um, as well, and um, I'm finishing that one right now. I'm almost done with it. I got to make her card. I'm packaging it up. And uh, all the last, you know, the last little details on it. And uh, then I just got to film it real quick. And uh, yeah, that one was fun too. I had so much. That one was actually, up until she did this one, that one was the funnest so far. And I've done a few of them. And that one was awesome. Uh, I only did two on that one as well, but the the theme, I really, really enjoyed the theme. A Charming Year. Oh, gosh. Super, super fun. Super fun. And uh, I can't wait to share that video with you guys. That'll be a fun one. So, yeah, I'm just, I just put those little, um, I just put glue on the back of those little, oh, sorry. Oh, shoot. You guys aren't even in frame. What is going on? Um, I just put glue on the back of that and put it back in the slot where it went because it was already die cut out. And then this is supposed to be like a little button panel down at the bottom. So I'll just put that there. Oh, shoot. Try not, not to get my little gluey mitts everywhere. And wipe it off if I can. Yeah, I, I put a little too much glue on those. Oh, shoot. Maybe I can get some out with this little pen here. 
that kind of helped clean it up a little. You can't you can't do too much or it'll scrape the foil off. So you have to go really gentle if you're trying to do that too, you know. But how cute, right? Oh, and now I'm trying to figure out because this foam that I cut out is white. And look how stark that is. So like this is super thick because it's three millimeter and I wanted to do the little sequins in it and stuff. Um, but look at like you can totally see that. Like if we go and we put this on here, right? You're going to see all that white on there. You're just going to see that. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want to, um, and this, that's not even going to disguise it. I mean, it's going to do nothing for it. Um, so I'm thinking I want to ink that up. Oh, but I got two more buttons. Whoops. Um, I got two more buttons to put on. Whoops. And then I got this one. And I was trying to decide if this is the one that's on the front. You know how KitchenAids have that one on the front, that circle on the front? Or what what this piece was. I'm not sure. Or if it just accents this one. Or if maybe we could just put it down here as something. It's like a knob for something. Um... I wonder if I could just, like, pop it up here or something. I could probably put it right there, huh? Does it look funny there, though? Or does it go there? It probably goes there, huh? That's where I put it on the other one, but I wasn't sure. There's not really any spot up front for it, so I'm guessing it goes right there, you know what I mean? I don't know. Hmm, interesting. So don't you think we should ink that? I wonder what we could do with that. Hmm, I think I should ink it though. Alright, let me see what I got here. Let me get some ink. Uh, I think some dye ink is going to be what it's called for. And I think we're going to need a one of these. I think I'm going to try some cherry Classic cherry ink. I just don't want it to be stark white. If I could even just disguise it a little. You know what I mean? It would be better than nothing. Oh, isn't this going to be so cute? There we go. It's going to go right there like that. Oh gosh, how adorable is that, right? And then we're going to have one of these right here. Oh, that is cute as all get out. O M G, that is darling. Oh, I'm loving it. I am loving that. Okay, so, well, I wonder if you'd actually even see it with the white on the background. Would you see that? Oh, you do see it. You see it. You definitely see it, don't you? That's pretty. Would it matter? Cause it's on that white. Oh, uh, I think I think it detracts from it. Let's see what we can do about it. You know what I mean? Just even if it's a little bit. Um I think a little is better than nothing, huh? Um Yeah. I wonder if I should do the inside, too. I don't have to do the bottom of it, but I was thinking maybe the sides to help kind of disguise that a little. I wonder if I should... Hmm. Do you, do you guys worry about the inside of shakers? Do you guys worry about the white? Do you Does it bother you guys? I don't know if it bothers people. Like, do they say... 
I don't know if I've had anyone say, why is it white? <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm making a bigger deal out of nothing. It's really not an issue. You know what I mean? Maybe it's really not an issue. Now, let me see. Let's pop this back in there. And then we can um, put some glue on that and glue it down. Hopefully that will disguise in. It wasn't for nothing. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pop some glue on the back of this. And then this, because it's like styrofoam, it's not styrofoam, it's foam, you will want to uh, let it, you know, dry for a little bit. I like using the glue better than I do the adhesive, and only because um, it it's, ends up being permanent, you know. Whoops. And then you, you just push the foam around the centerpiece is what I do to get it to keep its shape. Let's, let's see if we're straight though. Like, do we like this? I think that looks good, right? I think that looks really good. So now let's take the center out and let's put a block on that. This is the only one I have at the moment. So we're going to just have to deal with the fact that it's gigantor. Okay, so now let's let this dry. Whoops. And then let me grab some acetate. Hang on. And we're going to have to glue our little bowl down uh, to the acetate and cut it out. So I got these uh, acetate sheets off of Amazon, this stuff here, for arts and crafts. It's pretty thick. It is super stinking nice. It is very, very nice. So I'm just going to grab a piece out. And I'm going to uh, glue this onto there. And the thing about this is you have to um, you have to let this dry for a while as well. Um, I probably should have done one already, huh? Sorry about that, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to glue. Where are you guys at? I'm going to glue this, put the straight edge down at the bottom of this straight edge so I don't have to cut that part off. It'll already be done. It'll already be ready to go. And so now we can we can just kind of check it out. Like if we need to line it up a bit more or something, uh, we can. We can form it around our little foam piece. So and it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put a block on that one too. Oh, right here. Uh, I'm going to leave a block on that one. I'm going to let these dry for a bit. And then um, I'll be right back uh, to finish uh, putting this together. Hold on. Okay, so I've basically got all the um, little mixer stands, for the most part, put together. Um, I, I've, I've got the... Oh, whoops. I've got the little bowl on this one. Uh, the styrofoam. I've got the styrofoam zinked up. I just have to put that one on now. Um, I was trying to see if these were dry. Oh, see, they're still drying. Um, those, I think we could still work with it though. So I was going to check these out. Yeah, those, those are still wet. Uh, this, this is still wet. Let me see if, um, let me see if I can cut it out though enough that we can. Um, that we, we can just go ahead and, um, use it, you know. Okay, because, because I can, um, so I just, so basically you just have to cut around the acetate is all you have to do. And the nice thing is it's acetate, so it's clear. If it's not perfect, you won't see it at all. Um, that's, that's what I, that's what I thought was like, well, actually you won't even see it. So it didn't bother me that I had to hand trim it out. It would have been nice if there was a die, but not the end of the world. 
C and, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, see? See? And then, uh, because we inked it, it'll blend in a little bit more, you know? Won't that be so cute? Yeah, so let's get some shaker bits, and then this can be drying. Uh, while we... Oh, yeah, this can totally be drying. Uh, while we're putting the bow on it and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, because then we'll have one done. Oh, yeah, this is terrific. Oh, this is terrific. Let me get some shaker bits. Uh, I have these Stamps of Life ones. These chunky bits. Um, there's one, it's called Candy Can. I was thinking about this one. Yeah, might not be enough spunk. So then I have this one, it's called uh, Forest Gems. It's green. That's kind of fun. We could totally do... I mean, since... Let's see. I still have to glue those together. But this is our... This is going to be our... Little uh, shaker house. So this is going to go like this. I'm going to stickles this up. You know. Oh yeah, that's going to be darling. And then... Uh, so we just need something fun. Um, let me see. Let me grab a bow. Um, let me see if we're going to go red or green on the bow. I think we should do red. Let's see. A gold? No, not gold. Too red. Oh, wait. Wait. So, if we do green there, we could do green in there, huh? And then we could sparkle up our little, um... We could, we could sparkle up our little, um, poinsettia with some stickles. So maybe we do want green. Oh, gosh. Look how pretty that is. Oh, look how pretty that is. Wow, that's really pretty. Let's just see what it looks like with them. In there. With the green. Let's just see. We can always take them out. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Let's see. These are these are fun because they have little um micro beads in there and different colors of sequins. They're pretty fun. They're not micro beads. What are those called? Those are um so then that's gonna be like that. Oh, right? Isn't that cute? We should so do that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the green. Is that enough, though? That's probably good enough, huh? For the shaker bits? That's probably enough in there. I just was trying not to be chintzy, you know? Whoops. And we have to be careful with this stuff, because this stuff still has to dry. So, oh. Oh, I should have. Whoops. I should have glued that on. Shoot. I wonder what I could do there. Let's think about this for just a second. Well, I already got the glue on this. I'm committed now. Oh, right? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of committed to that. There's not much I can do. Um, so I'll have to wait for this to dry now, and then I can put my little, darn it, well, I could pop this up, we should, we should pop this up on the dimensional. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I can, um, I don't know if there's any way to get the glue on that. I wonder what I could do there. Like, what do we think? Does that look cute? Hey, are we... We're pretty happy with that, aren't we? I wish I could get some glue on the back of this. And then we can just press it down. Think it will... Think that will... Hold? God, I don't know. Uh, let's see. 
We'll give it a try, right? We just basically just have to glue it back on is all. That's not that big of a deal. All right, is this where we want it? It's in the center, right? Right at my little, um, I'm going to do it right at the little detailed, um, stitch line there. Right? Oh, oh, see? See, it's shifting. Okay, it's okay. We're good. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're good. It's Everything's fine. <laughs> you just can't move me too much. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get our bow on. And then, uh... get our bow on we just won't move it too much pop that in the center yeah oh my gosh isn't that the cutest oh wow that is darling now i just need some stickles on that and i think we're golden oh yeah okay what do you guys think is it cute um yeah i think i'm still gonna wait so I'm going to do these stardust ones. Just a tiny, tiny bit, though. Oh, and the gold in the center. I do like that. Yeah, we'll do the gold in the center. Oops. Let's just do a little bit. I don't want tons. I'm just following the little leaf, um, the outline of the leaves is all, and try not to mess up my little bowl. <laughs> um, oh my heavens, yeah, this is so cute. Yeah, there's not really any rhyme or reason for how I put these on, they just kind of whatever looks like a leaf to me or basically looks like it needs stickles. <laughs> I probably get in stickles crazy because it's like Christmas right now. <laughs> uh, too funny, but look, it doesn't look so pretty. I think it looks so pretty. I want to do gold in the center. Oh, and I love the green in there. Right? Okay. Okay. What do you guys think? A win? I don't know. I think it looks super cute. I, I think, should we have gone with the red? No. Uh, you could have done a double bow. <laughs> I think it's pretty cute. I Look, and it's a little shaker. Isn't that great? Can't move it too much, but then... And then it's the... um, And so then on the back side, it's the little recipe card. And then this is great because this size right here um, ends up being, let's not put it in the stickles, four and a half by roughly six inches tall. And the loaded pocket is uh, five by seven. So that actually, I think, ends up pretty cute. I think it's actually still pretty darn cute. I'm pretty partial to the pink one. And I think proportionally, I like the size of the mixer on, on this one better but, and the poinsettia as well, but, you know, for ad-libbing and using what the dyes are, I think it actually came out pretty cute, you know, and it, it's a cute recipe card, and it's super sturdy, really sturdy. This, in the middle of this one actually ended up being, um, I used some 22-point chipboard, white chipboard in the center of this one, so this is even sturdier than this one even. Um, but this one's pretty stout with that one 10 pound paper in there and the double layers on the front and the back. So anyways, there it is there. All right, guys, let me know what you think of the uh, little recipe cards down in the comments below. I uh, hope you're having a terrific weekend. Thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye, guys.